All right, let's go for a little ride. Check it out. It's the Turbocharge SX Limited. Get in the vehicle. Have a place to put my cell phone. Keys right there. Love that camera system. Guess people flying in here. What the heck are they doing? I don't know, but they better watch out for me because I'm going. I'm not used to driving a turbocharged vehicle, so let's see if I can handle this bad boy. I'll take it out on the highway. So far, just in the parking lot, the brake hold feature is pretty cool. Just put it in drive and it just kind of holds itself there until you're ready to go. Make sure the blind spot monitor is on, which it is, and the lane departure warning system is on. Make sure I got my cool shades on. Yes, check. So right now, just sitting in this light, I don't have to hold the brake. It just kind of holds itself. That's that brake hold feature. Now to turn it off, you have to put your foot back on the brake, make sure your, the vehicle's not gonna roll anywhere when you turn it off. So that way, if you accidentally hit this button, it's not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna push it right now. See, it says press brake pedal to deactivate auto hold. So no chance of accidentally pushing it and then rolling forward and hitting that vehicle in front of us. Alright, so now I just push the accelerator pedal and it releases that brake hold and, and it goes. start a trip here so let's go to a trip there we go all right we reset the miles per gallon and then we reset the first trip trip a third things at zero so it's giving me a range right now of 160 now the deal with the uh, the brake hold, I can, if there's a situation in which you want to like creep forward for whatever reason, uh, then you can't, it, that'll be annoying. You'd have to turn that off because it's not going to creep forward. Uh, it just basically stays still until you push the accel accelerator. And I'm not used to that. My, my car doesn't have that feature, so I creep forward when I let go of the, uh, the brake. Um, so I'd have to get used to that. 
I think it's actually be more convenient. All right, so now now it says it's auto hold, so it's holding now. So if you're watching this video because you watched my walk around video, what did you think about the walk around video? Is there too much information, not enough information, combination of both? In the past, up, up until now, I rarely did test drives, mainly, well there's two reasons. One is uh, that it's really hard to convey a test drive because it's so subjective. Um, so, like right now, I'm just trying to describe some stuff, but as far as you actually getting an, a real test drive experience, you kind of have to do it yourself, really. Um, so let me know if this has been helpful and the other video has been helpful and just kind of some feedback and, you know, feedback in a in a uh, you know productive manner so saying something sucks or whatever is not really productive if you could just say like um, more of this less of that that kind of thing or maybe you know a new idea that I haven't thought about or something like that just kind of throw it out there and see what happens this is the rough part of the road here now, if I were to go south on Highway 31, it, the whole road is like this for miles. It's like this super rough road. I was telling me that I was swerving off the road. It's, it's looking at the lines. That was the uh, lane departure warning system. I like the way it shows me the speed limit on the navigation map. That's always handy. Because you don't, sometimes you drive along, you don't realize that the speed limit's changed until, until you get pulled over or something. Or you see a cop and you're like, wait a minute, did the, did the speed limit change? Or is it still, you know, 55? Or did it drop to 45? You know, that kind of thing. go ahead and cruise in the center lane so this is a three-lane highway and we're on 31 the speed limit is 65 I see the sign there 65 map says 50 so maybe it'll change here in a second there it goes it changed. <laughs> it's funny it changed precisely when I passed those signs that's amazing So now I'm going to um, change the distance. So now I changed it to a shorter distance. So I'm going a little bit faster to get that distance shorter. Now even shorter, but I don't like that. I'm going to go far distance, far distance. I'm going to go three bars. I think that'll, that'll do it. Yeah, this is nice. So, so there's a car in front of me. I have it set at 75. Let's actually change it lower. I don't want to get it too blasting. So now, 
they're speeding up, so now I'm speeding up. Um, but if I change lanes, like right now, now they're not going to be in front of me. Now I'm speeding up to my set speed limit, so or my my set uh, cruise control. So I went up to the 73. That's nice. Let's go ahead and let's drop that down a little bit. 71. So it actually shows a little green car uh, when there's a car in front of you. Right now, it's not showing any car. holds on I can keeps you from rolling back too so like right now we're a little bit on a just a slight hill you don't get much hills here in this area of the country um, but yeah keeps you from going forward or back going Let's give a little bit of gas yeah that's pretty good See if any flames come out of the tailpipe. Have to get used to that auto hold. <laughs> you see the in the reflection of that car in front of us, the daytime running lights are nice looking. Up here on the left is the best car wash ever. Have been, my entire life I hadn't found a better car wash. As far as automatic type car wash. It's that one right there. It's the turbo jet. Because literally when you go through it, it'll clean everything, it'll 
shinier tires and everything. And it has free vac, you know, like the vacuums that you can use when you get out. And they give you towels to where you can, you know, dry your car and, and, and you know, just kind of detail it right there. Really nice. It does a good job. I went to some other automatic car washes and you get out, out the other side and, you know, you still have bugs on the front and you still have dirt around the wheel wells and just stuff like that. But this one is spotless and it's almost completely dry, really, when you get out the other side because it blows it dry. So that's my favorite car wash. Definitely won't accidentally leave your blinker on because you can hear it pretty good. Now I can hear a little bit of noise outside the vehicle, even though it does have the acoustic glass and stuff. That's not super silent. I like the way the transmission shifts. It feels pretty good. Strong. It feels a little bit stronger now. Oh yeah, because I put it in sport mode. I made a difference. I can kind of feel it. Kind of holds the RPMs a little bit more. And It's holding the RPMs quite a lot, actually. That's where it does, you can have that more of a responsive torque. So basically, the engine, an engine has a range in which it has the most torque. You know, like they'll say, say 200 pound-feet of torque at a certain RPMs, right? Well, as you go past that RPMs or under that RPM, it doesn't have the optimal torque, and that's that's what they call the power band. Oh, it's in the, there's the lane departure warning. Uh, in that zone, it's the most optimal as far as power. Um, but what's interesting is you have a different zone, which is typically a, uh, a lower RPM or whatever, uh, for your horsepower, your optimal horsepower. So your optimal horsepower and your optimal um, torque is not the same uh, RPMs. Now with the sport mode on, when you let go of the uh, the gat, the accelerator, it's going to use the engine braking. It feels like a little bit more, um, so basically it just kind of slows you right back down. Uh, you kind of have to it don't just kind of ease off the accelerator. Don't just lift it up like I just did. Otherwise, it's just gonna. I mean, it keeps you from keep you know like you see I was getting up to the speed limit there, so I wanted to not go too fast, and it uh, <laughs> it slowed me right down. So. Steering wheel is comfortable too. It's grippy, you know. It says that uh, smooth leather, but it's you know not. It's not uh, you know slippery at all. So I'm gonna push the paddle shifter and downshift. Once I start shifting, I can see the uh, the number there showing me what gear I'm in. So if I want to downshift, so you can manually manually put yourself in that power band if you know you're going to like punch it or whatever. You really need some instant torque. You can go ahead and downshift and um, you know basically get in that range that you need to be in in the moment that you need to be in it. And if you, like say you accidentally push these buttons, you can just push and hold the, uh, hold the plus and it'll go back and drive. Of course you can use the, uh, the ratchet shifter too. You just put it down here and down shift, up shift, kind of thing.
So this is the full test drive experience. Uh, just kind of give you the whole thing and you can watch as much as or as little as you want. So uh, hope you're not too bored just kind of hanging out with me taking a test drive. So we get to see the highway and the back these you know these nice back roads this nice area here in uh, Myrtle Beach and it's actually you know building up pretty quick and all these housing developments and one thing that was interesting if you're not from South Carolina or this area of the country uh, it was interesting to me when I first saw this area was how flat you know flat lands there is you can't really see very far uh, because of the trees you know um, like it say in Texas you can see for it's there's some flat lands but you can see for a long ways because there's not so much uh, vegetation but here you know there's not there's no hills and a lot of vegetation so kind of feel like you're going through these paths and like say in Colorado or, or Pennsylvania uh, you have the hills so you can you know you go up to the top of the hill there's a lot of vegetation but you can see uh, pretty good ways just because you're at a higher position and of course you know North Carolina the mountains uh, range are similar to that too in certain areas Uh, another thing is the roads are fairly I mean the roads are a lot better in South Carolina than what they used to be this is kind of a newer road but um, in the south basically the road the ground doesn't freeze the, I mean it rarely freezes I'll just say that and it doesn't freeze much if it does so you don't have um, like in northern Maine you'd have the frost heaves where it you know kind of uh, gives you bumps and stuff in the road and stuff like that also you can see it has these reflectors in the middle of the road that are just kind of glued down because no snow plowers have to go down here if there was if they were plowing these roads all those reflectors would be plowed right off the road um, so it's kind of interesting always looking at things from a different perspective Now the lane departure warning, it just, it just gave me a warning because I didn't have my turn signal on. As soon as I put my turn signal on, then it, it shut up and let me change lanes. Kind of slow down here to school. I'm going to take it off sport mode because it's kind of touchy gas. So I'm going to give a little bit of gas that wants to just wants to go. The little turbo just wants to do something. of these railroad tracks and yeah, they're smooth anyway good brakes I mean the brakes are I don't know if you noticed that they, they went ahead and painted the uh, calipers red <laughs> just to give it a sportier look but as far as the uh, the performance of the brakes you know they feel 
fine. I mean, there's they're no, uh, no griping from me on those. So they stop good and they're smooth. They have like this, this smooth, take, you just kind of rest your foot on the brake and you slowly come to the stop type thing. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Not grabby or, um, or, you know, not enough grab, you know, it's kind of not perfect really. Who I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> My buddy of mine from the uh, Toyota dealership. I think that's who it is. Look at this cat in the rearview mirror. Can you see him? He's like waving his hands around, talking on the phone. <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard to get across this road because there's so much traffic going in the Myrtle Beach area. But today, not too shabby. There's Myrtle Beach Kia right here. You gotta come visit. If you're ever in the area, go in the, uh, just go in there and just see what they say. Just like, hey, I saw this video and uh, I wanted to stop by and check out the place or whatever and just see what they say. Let me know what, let me know what they say. They're pretty cool. Now all these hamster things going on here. Okay, so let's check the uh, this screen here, and we got a range of 137, average 27.4, trip A 15 miles, average 37 miles per hour, and then a timer of 24 minutes. Okay, so I give you an idea of what it got on that particular little trip there of course i was had it on sport mode for a little while and kind of playing around with it but yeah not too bad very comfortable car so yeah let me know what you think in the comments of this test drive idea as far as a video concept and like the full thing like you know the entire thing or do you want it whittled down to just a few minutes of me explaining some features or do you like the whole experience so, okay, thanks for watching. You can see me there. I guess you can see me. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.